Hello, How To Bob here, and I made this video to show you how to install an onboard battery charger maintenancer on a 2020 Ram 3500. We're going to be using the NOCO Gen 2 2 bank because the 2020 Ram has two batteries. And let's take a look and see what we got inside here. We have the charging unit, it's waterproof, dust proof, so it can be put anywhere on the vehicle. It has two outlet leads and one plug that goes to 110 here. It's got the instructions that come with it and four screws to mount it. I think I found the best place to mount it is right here over the fuse box. It'll fit right there perfectly. I don't want to screw it down, so what I'm going to do is wipe it down with alcohol, take any dirt off of it, clean it up real good, and I'm going to use Velcro pads. I'll just stick those on the bottom and that'll just hold it in place. It's not like it's going to be jostled around all over. So I'll put the four Velcro pads on the bottom of the charging unit and then I'll flip the charging unit over and put it on the top of the fuse panel and that way with the Velcro, if I need to get in the fuse panel, I can just un-Velcro my charging unit and gain access to my fuse panel. So here is the power cord. That's just going to go down to the bottom front of the truck. And I'm going to put that along with the block heater so that I only have to use one plug. And I'll show you that once I get the battery charger hooked up. So it's got a lot of wire here and I'll need it to get to the other side of the engine bay to the other battery. You can see the ones real close here, but I'll need to go all along the corner braces here. I'll just zip tie my wire that's going to the passenger side battery up underneath the cowling area and all around the engine bay just to keep it out of the way. Tuck it up under there real nice and neat. And I'll zip tie it periodically just to make sure it's up there good and tight. Once I get it over to the location, I can make sure I get all my zip ties on. Then I want to take this cap off of the positive side. Now there's a little clip here and here and here. And that covers the side of the battery terminals. And I'm going to use a 10 millimeter socket to remove this small nut here. And that's where I'm going to put my ring terminal. And once I get the ring terminal back on, I can tighten the nut up and put my cover back over the terminal. And then I want to use the same socket on the negative side of the battery. And I'll put my ring terminal on this stud. Put the nut back on and tighten that down. Then I want to make sure my wires are tucked where I want them nice and neat. I can slide my zip tie down, tighten it up, add a few more if I need to, and slide, slide them into place, tighten them all up, clip the ends off, and move back over to the other side where I'm going to be using this terminal here. It's a nice block underneath this cover. So I found a nice stud on the positive side here. And I'm going to put my ring terminal. I'm going to need to rotate the terminal around a little bit so that the cover will be able to close. Once I get that in place, I can then put the negative terminal on and close the cover. For that side. And then pull my wires around and get them in a nice and neat place. And zip tie them up. Now there's a bundle of wires down here that I'm going to have to zip tie up and make sure everything's nice 
and tight and cut all the ends off. So I pulled my wire down through, made sure it's not rubbing on anything, and it's gonna go together with this little Y connector that has a little plug that'll mount right here. So that's nice and flat there. Looks like there's plenty of room behind it. So I've got my hole saw here. Just gonna drill a hole through the plastic part of the bottom side of this bumper. Holding my wire out of the way, clean that hole up a little bit. I can take my Y adapter and put the two plugs through the hole. One of these is gonna go to the charger and one's gonna go to the block heater. And I'll slide that in place. You can see it's got a nice weatherproof cover on it. Four mounting holes that I just screw into the plastic. And this way I can just plug in one cord and it'll heat the block and charge both batteries simultaneously. Be great for cold weather just to keep the batteries maintained and keep the block warmed up. So there's my cover. You can see, plug it in, test it out. Let's take a look at the battery maintenance. It's red right now, so it's charging. It'll start blinking green when it's done. So slid some heat shrink over top of the connections here just as extra protection. That'll keep it from unplugging when I drive along the road. I like to be extra cautious about these connections because I don't want to have to get back under here and mess with them again. So I heat up both plugs once they're plugged in. Heat up both heat shrink tubes and they're not quite sealed off, so I'll use a moisture sealing electrical tape. And this stuff works really well. Cut off a section. It's not real sticky, but when you pull on it and stretch it, it kind of melts to itself. So I'll start on the heat shrink tube and wrap it around as I stretch it. And then when I get to where the heat shrink tube meets the wire, I'll go about an inch, inch and a half past there and then come back over it again and repeat that process and this moisture sealing electrical tape turns into like a rubber once it's stretched and bonded together so that should seal out any water that could get up in there it's nice and waterproof and tight now do the other side and this will keep any problems from happening down the road in the future I've got my charger sealed off. I'm going to do the same thing on the block heater. Just get a little piece of this moisture sealing electrical tape, go around both ends of the heat shrink tube, and then I can tidy up my wires, find a good place for them to zip tie up in the bumper, zip tie them together, make sure everything's secure, not going to fall out. And now all I have to do to heat up the block and charge the batteries and maintain the batteries is one plug. So that's how you install an onboard battery charger to a 2020 Ram 3500. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon. I'm How To Bob, and as always, thanks for watching.